so welcome to KO tutorials so now we are going to start with the other part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here we have started with the modeling of this uh, oil truck container over here so let's continue that part so now what I'll be doing is I'll be just creating the top part over here so for that let's go over here and let's uh, go on to the top view over here and let's take a cylinder so let's just push it over here push this over here and and just push it onto the top so now what I can do over here is like I'll just push it up a bit and I'll increase its height a bit over here so let's convert to editable poly over here before we start so let's go into this select this edge and just push it a bit up over here and let's go into this polygons over here and let's give a bit of extrude by local normal and just click ok so so again go over here select its polygons and just push it up and let's go into its swift loop over here let's go into the swift loop and take one more loop over here use one more loop at the center and just scale it that's it so now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be duplicating this over here and I'll scale it so scale it uh, definitely we can take uh, another cylinder if you want but uh, it's all the same so I'm just scaling this in this way so I'll be just pushing it up over here so the fine details with that so nut and bolts and handles will be doing it afterwards definitely over here now what I'll be doing over here now is like I'll go into this side over here go onto this view over here let's take a line over here let's take a line tool So let's select this all right so we need to push it more further so let's go over here let's take a line tool over here so definitely uh, the cylinder we are going to increase it more further so this is going to be more further over here after that after creation of this stuff over here what I'll be doing is I'll go into rendering enable in viewport and I'll go into this again and I'll just push this down a bit in this way and increase its length over here and just push it out so we'll be just pushing this but definitely this is going to go up over here up till here this is going to go up till here 
that's the outside part over here where it's going to get uh, you know connected over here this stuff all right so after doing this what we'll be doing over here we can shift it more up if it is required over here that's it and let's convert to editable poly over here and let's select this polygons over here in this way and let's go into this insert it if it is required and extrude it by local normal and just push it a bit inside that's it all right so once this is done over here so we need this kind of supports over here we'll be creating those supports over here so how we are going to create this supports for that will be taking a line over here let's take a line over here go into this line select this reduce this uh, we can just reduce this length width if it is required so let's convert to editable poly so just select this edge control and backspace whereas take this polygons and just extrude this over here and just push this up in this way that's it so we are definitely going to push this uh, more down over here and select this and push it down in this way the same thing is going to happen over here we are going to do the same thing over here so definitely will uh, first save your file and let's put one loop over here select this just push this up over here push it like this so select this over here so if you want to push this whole thing out you can just push this whole thing out also not a problem but make sure you push this the front two vertices a bit inside that will much better all right so once you're done with this uh, I'll just shift this over here so definitely uh, we have we'll take three copies of it over here because this is for its support over here so select the whole thing over here and let's just give a color to it So definitely we'll be taking a few more references because these are not uh, enough references over here. So let's select this part over here. Let's select this. Is this a same? Just check it. No, it's not the same. So we'll be again taking a cylinder over here. So let's take a again a cylinder onto the top over here so let's just push the cylinder up over here to the center of it so what I can do is like you can just judge it not judge you can uh, align it if you want with this in the same line all right so now just drag it over here so just drag it up over here and make sure you're using this height segments go into this scale it from the top scale it a bit 
push it up so convert to editable poly select its polygons over here and let's do inset a bit and click extrude over here and push it up now just duplicate this again one more copy of it over here to save your file over here so we'll be just creating some uh, tires over here we'll be start doing that before we do that we'll go over here and we'll just push this over here select this polygon and this polygon and let's just uh, bridge it over here so we can easily just bridge this stuff over here so we can just use a line tool over here So we'll make this as a, a radial over here. Just make this as a radial. Select the vertices of it. <coughs> so take the vertices and just give a bit of fillet to it. So definitely we'll be coming to that over here afterwards. So even if you just want few details of it, we can go with that, not a problem, we will just drag it in this way. So let's convert to editable poly, save your file and let's go on adding some loops over here. So let's go into this, ring it, control and click on the polygons and let's give bevel by local normal and click ok, that's it. So we are just generating some basic details over here for that. So we'll be having a kind of a tap over here where we will be just pushing it out more alright so you can just save your file over here so guys if you have any doubts so you can just please write in the comment section I will definitely come up with that definitely will solve your doubts and please like and subscribe my YouTube channel that's Cave Tutorials. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.